Mr. John here decided to make a video about currency detector. A person called me and said that it stopped working. So what I did as I took it apart, pulled the tube out, and I was about to see that one filament is open. Why? I don't understand, because instead of using normal ballast, more or less normal ballast, they use this. Basically nothing more than a voltage quadrupler, I think. Basically voltage multiplier plus, plus some capacitance to ballast it, plus some resistor to limit in rush current, as well as ballast limit the current. As you can see, it's definitely limiting current, because it's all... Oh, because it's big. Uh, I don't quite understand the reason why filament gone open, because they use just two wires on each side of tube and strikes it due in an arc and it starts up due to the fact that this circuit puts out near kilovolt, I think, like much higher voltage than usually drive fluorescence with. To basically start the tube is called filaments. Very, very bad idea. Basically, uh, due to this high voltage, um, electrons just starts flowing from a completely cold filament, and when they start uh, to take off from that metal, they basically grab some metal with them and cause uh, them and cause this metal to be dip to be deposit on a tube like you can see in this cfl that's what it is it's a metal from film and tungsten that is now we deposit on a phosphorus inside this tube so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this ballast from 8 watt tube but i'm gonna change some values like increase inductance of the choke swap for another one decrease Mm, capacitance of the 47 nanofarad 400 volt cap to a smaller one like a 33 or 22 nanofarads and uh, this capacitor basically doesn't really need to be replaced because it's a startup capacitor in a company with this choke it forms a series LC uh, tank circuit which basically oscillates and uh, provides high enough voltage to strike a tube with slightly warmed up filaments instead of this which starts com tube completely with cold filaments this starts this heats up filament a little bit and then starts it you know between these two it's less evil so i'll pick this one and this one will go into my junk box because well no. two one microfarad 400 volt capacitors 500 oh 5 watt 100 ohm resistor not bad uh, so purpose of this video if you're gonna to buy something like this be aware that uh, some models which is not really cheapest models available can be crushed inside is this so be aware yeah because this uh, ballast wouldn't allow the tube to live not nearly as long as you want it to so yeah that's it thanks for watching see ya